Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In tonight's episode of Emmerdale, Aaron Dingle was ecstatic because he had secured a date. We define it they date as a hookup in a hotel room, that is, a van pulled over by the side of the road. However, Aaron had an issue before he left the village. He required a car. Aaron told Mackenzie about his problem while he was heading to the garage and offered to borrow Pollard's car so he could return it in time for his repair. Mac gave his okay, and Aaron left. As Aaron was traveling down a country road, a stranger stopped him, changing the course of his day. Oliver Farnworth, who plays John Sugden on Coronation Street, was revealed to be the new face. John mentioned that he needed assistance getting his van to a garage since it broke and he was without phone service. It was verified that Aaron was staring at the man he was meant to meet at the hotel when he disclosed his plans to them over chat. After getting out of the vehicle, Aaron was able to sufficiently fix John's van to allow him to drive it to the garage. As soon as they started talking, it was clear that John wasn't really into the small talk and that he wanted to kiss him right away. Aaron told John they could get together again after taking a steady look at the back of his van. Aaron headed into the bushes to use the restroom, rumored to be John's favorite notion. But to his surprise, he realized he had been duped when he heard John's van start up. With Max's assistance, Aaron eventually made his way back to the settlement. Aaron also needed to arrange for a recovery van to get the car back because his wallet and Eric's keys were in John's van. The three of them wondered how in the world they would resolve the situation before Pollard and Kane found out as Vic walked over and learned about Aaron's crazy afternoon. Aaron might not be aware of John's name right now, but Vic will take Eric to a funeral tomorrow that turns out to be for John's mother. Then when Victoria learns that John is a Sutton and thus her half-brother, everything changes once more. With the revelation of a second link, Amberdale has published an intense clip hinting at the entrance of newcomer John Sutton. According to next week's spoilers, Victoria Sugden is taken aback upon discovering a family member who is hidden. Eric Pollard's automobile breaks down in the next scenes, preventing him from going to an old friend's funeral. Victoria offers to drive him there, showing kindness instead of abandoning him. But after arriving at the church, Victoria quickly finds herself in awkward situations with the grieving son during his mother's funeral. She is even more taken aback when she discovers that the man is named John Sugden. Subsequently, Eric clumsily admits that John might be the offspring of her late father, Jack Sugden, and her half-brother. In a strange turn of events, Mackenzie Boyd returns to the hamlet and, at the garage, gets a call reporting a breakdown somewhere in the area. It turns out that the caller is John. John's arrival in the village surprises Eric and Victoria, and it doesn't take long for the newcomer to start stirring up trouble. The casting of Oliver Farnworth as the enigmatic and gloomy John Sugden was made public earlier this month. Additionally, a sinister stare is directed at Aaron Dingle by John in the just-released explosive teaser video for Emmerdale, which features him and Victoria in a field. An announcement in the voiceover hints that a new Sugden is coming to Emmerdale. Fans of the soap opera will remember that Aaron was married to Robert Sugden, who departed the program in 2019 after being sentenced to prison in connection with Lee Posner's death. After Lee horribly raped his sister Victoria, Robert fought Lee, unintentionally killing him. As he was being punished, Robert accepted his wrongdoing and severed all connections with the Hamlet and his loved ones. However, fans have long hoped he would make a comeback, particularly in light of suggestions Robert might not have been the cause of his death. Lee was punched in the skull and may have died as a result of that blow. But it also turned out that Lee had been struck by his brother Luke. And would Robert be returning too, 
Given that there is a new Summerdale have hinted at a tragic breakup for one couple. When Mandy Dingle finds Tracy Robinson mid-fine domination in scenes from the ITV soap opera that airs next week, Tracy gives her what for. Mandy tries to appease Tracy while explaining the safety precautions she's taking because she is in dire need of money. When Amelia Spencer gives Mandy a Kareo Ketsit and plans a surprise hen party, she gets thrilled. Later, when Mandy begins a session with a new client, she adopts her character. She can't wait to have her hen party, but first she has to make sure Bear Wolf fits in at the salon and takes care of another Findom client. Mandy needs to take a call with a Findom client, so she gives Amelia Bear's beard trim appointment. Bear is startled to hear Mandy's funeral call over the Carrick speakers while he is by himself in the salon. Bear finds it difficult to gather himself after hearing Mandy's call and is shaken by her deception. When he says a few sharp remarks, Mandy becomes uneasy. Subsequently, Bear becomes knowledgeable about Findum and finds himself in an unpleasant predicament upon the arrival of Marlon Dingle and Patty Kirk. Bear is undecided about telling his son about the lad's spontaneous stag do that they plan for Patty. When Bear questions Mandy about her side business, she is horrified. He's in shock as Mandy tries to tell a furious Bear why she created her Findom site. But when she won't tell Patty, Bear threatens to take care of it for her. Mandy decides to quit while she's ahead and persuades Bear not to tell Patty. Bear, though, becomes irritated when he hears Patty in the bar praising Mandy. Ready to spill the beans, he leads them to the rear room after receiving a notification on his phone. Bear reveals himself as Mandy's new customer, exposing her side project. As Patty mulls over whether or not to proceed with his marriage, he is taken by surprise. Bob Hope observes as Vinny Dingle and Mandy rush to the salon in preparation for the big day. Marlon worries at tenants while Bear expresses his thoughts about Mandy's predicament. Soon after Patty says he doesn't want to marry Mandy, Bear and Marlon are at each other's throats. Bear is happy with the choice, but Marlon continues to question whether he can persuade Patty to reconsider. Later, while Mandy is wearing her wedding attire and she and Vinny are having a tender moment in the salon, Bear shows up to spoil the moment by admitting that he was Mandy's caller and Patty is now fully aware of her business dealings. Terrified, Mandy quickly runs to apologize to Patty. Is her marriage salvageable? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.